Hello, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another Sunday Live in the Kitchen uh, with me, Paul, me, Jason, collectively, those oh, vegan people. guys. Uh, so, hello and welcome back if you've been before. And if you haven't, hiya, welcome. Well done for discovering us, if you're new, you know, because there's so much content out there these days on YouTube. So many people sharing so much stuff and you've stumbled across our channel, uh, which is great. A little bit of a chill one today. Let's, should, we, should we provide some context and a bit of backstory for people who are here nice and early? Because we were just going to sit in our living room today. Yeah, it's been we, a busy weekend. We said like, oh, we're not going to cook anything because we've got, we've we went to Little on Friday and did a little vlog and bought loads of stuff. Then we went to the Northern Vegan Festival yesterday and did a vlog and bought loads of stuff. Um, and I was like, right, I know what I'm cooking tonight. I'm doing a curry, and I know that there's a curry paste recipe vlog on the channel but i thought you know what let's do it live so at least it's something yeah in the kitchen uh but tonight i'm doing a chickpea and spinach curry which will last us two nights yeah always always does always so yeah that's a little bit of background and a bit of context it's been a busy weekend um it has been very busy actually and i've been poorly yeah you've been under weather haven't you yeah i got a cold on thursday i was at uh, i was at work on thursday and um we have these uh, we have these staff meetings sometimes they're in a booked room where we all are and other times they're over teams so thursdays was over teams and if you live anywhere near the northwest of england you will know that thursday morning were freezing absolutely freezing and there were three of us outside the cafe in the mat on the market in oldham three staff members i'm in this meeting and i was i started violently shivering that's when i know that's my sign right i have to learn that though as soon as i start shivering although i think that's it's too late by then yeah yeah do you know what i mean yeah but also i mean I could have got indoors but i was we're in a limbo period at the moment here in our neck of the woods and i'm sure it's the same for lots of years that it's sort of transitioning into summer and you get caught out sometimes you think you're having a lovely day and you start off and it's summer in the morning mm -hmm. and then by the time you get to two o'clock in the afternoon it's suddenly decided that it wants to be the dead of winter again yeah it's, uh, it's been a weird april it's yeah it has been a weird one um yes. but yeah welcome one and all we didn't want to go uh we didn't want to let the weekend go without catching up with you all and no. doing a little bit of a live um so here we are it might be a little bit shorter uh, than our usual sunday live in the kitchen today um, but yeah, just a chance for us to catch up with you all, see how you're all doing. Ashley, our wonderful friend and mod, is in the house modding. Uh, mm -hmm. Lovely to catch up with Ashley and Tom at uh, Northern Vegan Festival uh, yes, over the yeah. weekend. And uh, obviously, lovely, if you haven't seen the vlog already, lovely to just meet a whole bunch of lovely people. Yeah, if you haven't seen uh, Friday's little vlog or Saturday's Vegan Festival vlog, they're both worth watching after you've seen this so mm. yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so yeah it's been a, it's been a busy but productive weekend all told um even got the lawn mode uh this afternoon before the live front and back because i thought if i leave it much longer it's going to get silly and it'll get it'll be really difficult to do it so tick glad that one's done yeah um and no spoilers but whilst we're just chatting before Paul starts on the uh, the curry paste, the curry sauce paste, yes. um, no spoilers. We watched the last episode of Fallout last night. If you haven't seen it, whether you're a gamer or you're not a gamer, highly, highly recommend. It's very good. It is 10 out of 10, in my very, opinion. Very, very, very good. 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. So what have you all been uh, up to uh, this weekend? I know that some of you, we met lots of lovely people at the Vegan Fest. We've still not met Flanny. No. Come on, Flanny. Will you, are you scared of meeting us? It's just us. Please, will you meet us at some point? <laughs> so we can say hello to your lovely faces. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd uh, be nice. But yeah, we met loads of folk yesterday, it nice. It was nice. It was just nice to nice to meet folk. Yeah, and not just um, not just the stall holders. You know, but actual people who uh, subscribe well, to that's the channel. What I meant. I didn't yeah, mean yeah. Stall holders. Yeah, but it was nice to meet them as well, wasn't it? You know, 
friendly faces across the board, pretty much. It was delightful. <laughs> Bev, just back from a three hour dog yomp. Brr. Uh, I'll pay Jack with the jokes there. It's gross, Jack. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Never cast a clout till May is out. Absolutely. Ah, oh, nice one. Nice one, Mark. Finish nights this morning, then a few days off. Good stuff. Jeanette's been putting up a fence and more planting out. Nice. We were really hoping to have started gardening uh, this year, but... As you know, if you've been watching the channel, we've had a crazy busy start to this year and a lot of things that have taken a lot of our time. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. pleased to say, though, now that Performance Plaza is not only done and dusted, the building emptied, the keys handed back, the company, because it was a registered company, has been closed down as well. Yes. Uh, so that's all done. That was the final line in the sand, wasn't it? Well, apart from the buddy. We thought we'd finalise the water bill and then send us a £10 bill. It's like, we, we thought we'd done this over the phone and cleared it and paid it and it was done. No, no, you still owe £10. Like, oh, I was told that the account had been whatever, closed and they were fully paid up. The ridiculous thing about it is the time that it's took for them to put the letter together, the cost to post it, and then me to phone out of my time, it's probably about a tenner. Yeah. So it's it's kind of pointless. But that's by the by anyway. Uh, just so you know, by the way, I have a huge amount of dried chickpeas in the Instant Pot. I put them in for 40 minutes. There are 16 minutes left right now. So I'm going to show you how I make curry paste. Now, let me tell you this first. I never used to. I used to just look for the jars or packets or whatever that either were clearly marked vegan or were clearly vegan by ingredient. And that always became um, not a lot, not a lot of choice. Uh, and then, of course, they started bringing out the vegan ones and they were expensive. But a couple of years ago, a couple of friends from the channel were, were kind of saying, well, why don't you make your own? Um, and then I thought, yeah, why don't I make me on? So here is what we have. So we've got curry powder. We've got turmeric, coriander, cumin. We've got one onion. I've got um, seven pieces of garlic. I've got a good chunk of ginger. I've got five tomatoes, two big ones, three cherry, and some tomato puree. And I've got one scotch bonnet chilli and three green finger chillies. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> right there. And all I do, because I'm, I'm lucky enough to have a new tube of it, is whack it all in there. And make a curry paste. Um, that's one of those nights. Yeah. Any of them will do. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to cut this onion up a little bit so it's. Yeah. So I'm going in first with an onion. Put my big tomatoes in, in halves. Uh, I just had three plum tomatoes left, so I thought I'll oh, chuck them in as well. I didn't want to be condescending, but I didn't know for a long time how easy it was to peel ginger with a spoon. So I've peeled most of this bit, but I just left the end bit just to show you that it's actually that part of the spoon you use. And it is the best and easiest way to peel ginger. Well, I think we've learned, having done this whole YouTube malarkey for a while now, 
what we anticipated over the years as being condescending often isn't no no like even down to like make the making a butty thing yeah yeah you know just silly things like that so you know garlic seven pieces of garlic one scotch bonnet from the freezer three finger chilies from the freezer yeah ashley says uh she'd have to make it extra mild and then separate off to add more spice because tom is a big baby jokes of course of course ashley of course well, that's a good good strategy, isn't it? Good way to do it. That's probably about two tablespoons of tomato puree. It was just the last of the of one tube. And then I don't really measure this. This is my issue. I just go, let's say that that was four teaspoons. You just eyeball it. Yeah. Turmeric maybe two teaspoons, cumin, hmm. David says going to be a tasty curry there Paul, just one, and coriander, a good couple of teaspoons, and you pass me a bunch of coriander out the fridge just because i've got some in i don't normally use fresh coriander in um in the curry paste but That's i've got right yeah i've got some in so i'm just going to literally i'm going to grab i'm just going to grab some fresh coriander nice. i'm going to whack that in i'm going to put a bit of water in that just a little bit um Hmm. Can lift it back up now, Jess. Yeah, oh yeah, of course I can. Of course I can. There we go. Melissa says, I'll definitely be trying this. I think <laughs> And that, my loves, is it. That's it. That is it. So it'll be very thick. Very, very thick. I'll show you. I'll show you just how thick. how thick that is gorgeous very thick smells beautiful already like honestly it smells gorgeous already so that is my curry paste what i will do is i'll put that into the pan later on into my wok no oil or anything just to cook it through a little bit and then I, I'll be adding a tin of coconut milk today. You can either add a tin of coconut milk or um, a carton of passata. Just, you know, uh, sieved tomatoes. Or you could add a couple of tins of chopped tomatoes mm -hmm. to this. And then whatever you want. I'll be adding a load of chickpeas and a load of spinach. But that is a really good curry paste that's nice stuff. and daddy as you look how easy that was to make and it's done other than tasting it while you're cooking it oh it needs a bit of salt needs a bit of pepper for us it might need a little bit more spice uh but yeah there you go that simple and <coughs> i've never gone back to packets or jar sauce i've tried them like we tried when is it tax that brought out a vegan korma? I think so. We yeah. tried it and it was all right. Yeah. And everything, but there's a place for them, obviously. Um, you know, but I think 
you know what we said before on the channel about um you know doing something from scratch and sometimes it's like it's going to take me hours it's going to be 20 ingredients and a massive process and even we avoid that on the channel like in terms of making recommendations but something like this even i could manage that yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and i don't cook at all um it's just a case of pulling together your, your core stuff in it and then just whacking it all in a blender that's it and then eyeballing the um spices and the, the bits and the things yeah happy days Joseph says, I was expecting it to be red in colour. I'm sure it smells amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it smells gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Somebody else commented as well that I wanted to pick up on uh, Unrelated, but uh, Sparkling Guidance. Hi, how are you? We're good. Thank you. As we said at the start, being busy, but productive. Um, I have an awful old fashioned dad. Doesn't like anyone that's different. Makes fun of me because I'm vegan. I'm very sad. Well, you know what? I honestly firmly believe that everybody can change, even old people. Do you know what I mean? Um, that are maybe quite set in their ways. Um, it's a difficult one uh, when your family don't really get on board with um, with what you're trying to do in terms of saving the animals and saving the planet. But um, try and stay strong, Sparkling Guidance. And this is an amazing community right here. Uh, and that vegan group on Facebook, if you do Facebook, uh, that, we, that uh, we set up on there, it's a wonderful community here. We do try our best to lift people up, not push them down. Um, and you're welcome here anytime, of course, if you feel like you need your spirits lifting a little bit. Because they're all lovely folk, proper lovely folk. <laughs> oh, we actually, we had, you know, we bought those pies from, um, what was it called? sunshine vegan deli yes and i asked for two potato and chickpea curry pies it's what we thought we bought but they weren't as you'll see on the meals vlog jay were like i can't really taste any curry in there it tastes a bit hammy <laughs> and i looked inside and I, and I was like ah we've been given a chicken and ham style yeah. pie uh, instead no I, did, I messaged her last night i said you gave us the wrong pie I'm not complaining because the pie were gorgeous. That's, yeah, true. But you need to know that we ordered this one and got that yeah, one. Just so they so, can get stuff sorted on their end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure their uh, their labelling is good. Yeah. Uh, but it was a gorgeous pie. So we had that pie with mash and beans last night. Peas. Peas, sorry. Yes, yes. We've had beans this week, though, haven't we, with chips? Uh, I think so, yeah with those nuggets earlier in the week yeah yeah, yeah 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 so the meals vlog will be up on the channel of course on tuesday as we said right at the start little vlog went up friday northern vegan festival saturday it's been awesome it's been awesome and epic in terms of a weekend um going back to what paul was saying before yeah we are late uh in terms of getting into the gardening and uh, starting to grow stuff not too late there's still time yet but we've also got to evaluate our own energy levels and what's coming up and what's around the corner. Yeah, so no promises. We can't make any promises at this stage. Really um, but it does feel nice to have the garden cleared and sorted now. We've got some space and that. So who knows what might happen over the next few weeks. You lot will be the first to know. Of course. Yes. Because it'll be vlogged. Hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Chat is thick and fast as always for a sunny Sunday afternoon in the Greater Manchester area. We've got 92 in the house, which is lovely. If you haven't already, do please consider giving the live stream a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. It's free, helps us, and it takes a second. <laughs> Barbara loved watching that vegan festival. It all looked so yummy. It was. That's half the battle, to be honest with you, when you go to these vegan festivals. Is Where do you start? I think we have... I think we did two rotations before we decided that we were going to get something to eat. Yeah, we, we, had, we had that sandwich, and I'm right glad we did it all because that sandwich was beautiful. Was it chicky, chicky monkey? I think yes. it was called chicky monkey. So good, like really honestly, good. One of the best um, meatball subs I've ever had, and I'm not lying. Like genuinely, it was delightful. Every mouthful. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Flanny says the broccoli and pepper quiche from the same stall were excellent. Oh, we also bought Flanny. We bought um, from that stall from Sunshine Vegan Deli, which is in Sheffield for the record. They've got a fantastic website, by the way. Um, 
they'd run out of hard boiled eggs. I'm going to order some online. Yeah, because you said there were four for a fiver. But I did get a packet of the Yorkshire puddings there in the freezer. Six Yorkshire puddings. And I also got uh, pork, cheese, and pickle. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls there in the freezer as well to have some time. Yeah. And we had uh, Tom and Ash bought us a couple of lovely um, donuts from Donuts with a Z. Uh, and we split them last night, didn't we? And had them. Yeah. Like we had one and then we split the other one about an hour later and had that as well. Lovely treat. Smashed them right in our faces. Lovely treat last Literally night. Literally smashed them in our faces. As opposed to eating it delicately and daintily like a lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an in-joke. If, uh, if you've seen the uh, Northern Vegan Fest vlog uh, referencing Ashley. Stuffing her face. Very, very cool. Oh, thanks for the kind words, Barbara. Kathleen, why not? Be a leader. Be a leader, not a follower. Do you know what I mean? If you've got nothing like this going on in your area, you could start off really, really small. Who knows? Who knows what it might lead to? You never know. You never know just how much I hmm. love you. Alexandra? Good afternoon all, just came back from walking my dog Wolfie, now we're watching you, love you too, love heart. Oh, thank you so much, and I hope you had a lovely walk with Wolfie. Uh, okay, okay, scroll down a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I ain't no lady when I eat. Ah, oh, Shelly Bean, that's cool. That's very cool. I've been fully vegan for about a month now. People are starting to say I look well and there's something very different about me. I've only told my nearest so far. Nice one. Nice. Nice one, Shelley. Oh, there we go. Ali Bali, just noticed that you're up to 17,000 subscribers, guys. Onwards. <laughs> indeed. Indeed, indeed. We've got our buffer zone now, so we're well and truly past the 17,000 point. We're a long way off getting any kind of acknowledgement, a, a plaque from uh, from the uh, the lovely people at YouTube. Um, but that is our ultimate dream, uh, as well as, of course, and more importantly, getting as many people as possible to go vegan and plant based. Might as well start this in the pan. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point in cooking it there. You can still see me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm just because I knew that was about to finish. Thanks for reminding people, Barbara. Always appreciated. Yeah, we do generally tend to eat a little bit earlier on a Sunday, don't we? Sometimes, not always. Not but, always. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, I'll have a little scroll up the chat and uh, just make sure that we've not missed anything. Joseph, yeah, I understand what you're saying about the microgreens thing, but I don't think I'd find it particularly satisfying um, and rewarding in the same way as growing like potatoes and carrots and courgettes and tomatoes and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? And also, we don't really eat a lot of microgreens. And one of the things that we said when we were wrapping up at the allotment was whatever we grow in the free future, generally, we, we want to grow what we eat, really, uh, as much as we can. Uh, and as many of you will know, we are big potato consumers uh, and we have loved our tomatoes over the last few years as well. So, yeah, I've still got pasta sauce made with our own tomatoes in, uh, in the freezer. In, yeah, in the freezer. <laughs> Ashley, we'll get you that plaque, lads. It's going to take some time. Do you know what I mean? We've mentioned it before, you know, the way that we operate on this channel. Um, you know, we don't court controversy as best we can. Uh, we don't really do clickbait stuff. 
so the growth on the channel is very, very organic. Um, but I do say, and I stand by this, that because the growth has been so organic, um, we've ended up with a really, really nice engaged community um, rather than people that have just kind of, you know, discovered the channel through some clickbait or some controversial video about celebrities or something like that. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You see it on YouTube, all the controversial stuff to get clicks and to get uh, subscribe subscriptions and likes. Absolutely, Ashley. Absolutely. Good morning, Mary Karen. Thank you for being here. So if anybody is just joining us, um, Paul is behind me here um, cooking the curry paste that he's just made fresh right here on the table. Which is now a curry sauce. Oh, it smells good. It right. smells so good. Absolutely, Becca. Couldn't agree more. And that's generally the rule of thumb, and it has been right from the very start. Uh, our values and our principles must be maintained. That's not to say, you know, now and again, when the opportunity presents itself, you know, we might have a cheeky thumbnail or, uh, you know, a, a slightly cheeky title, but it's nearly always pretty, well, it's always pretty authentic stuff. Melissa, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Right, going to leave that. Gratefully appreciated. Just warming through gently. So I let, I let it cook for a couple of minutes, just the paste, so that the, the chilies and the garlic. Oh, it's so nice. Isn't it? It, really it just is. it does need salt, though. It definitely needs salt. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I really do enjoy uh, a, a, a savoury curry. Yeah. Oh, that jumped then. Uh, Tracy and Leroy gardening much the same way we only grow what we enjoy eating canning preserving etc we do try to grow something new each year though this year it's cinnamon basil oh nice and uh, sparkling guidance how's your cat Isis is doing great she has recently had a couple of uh, rather thorough brushings uh, as we're entering into summer so she's getting rid of her winter coat now uh, she's had a delightful few hours in the garden today, hasn't she? She has, and she was on a reel. If you check out our Instagram, she was on a reel this morning where we were showing our lawn because we always leave a big, long strip of dandelions when we uh, cut our lawn for the first time in spring. Find the most densely dandelioned area, and we leave it, uh, and we'll leave that for a good couple of months now because uh, it's food for bees. Yeah. And they're right on it, aren't they, straight away? Yeah, you know, love it. No messing about. We get plenty of them. The other night, I had a lovely moment at the back door, just whilst we're on the subject of talking about garden and summer and outdoors. It was early evening. The sun, I think, just, was just going down. And I was stood at the back door for a couple of minutes. And in that time, about four or five bats oh, yeah. flew over backwards and forwards. They're so lovely. Like little mouse, mice with wings. Yeah. Fabulous they are. And they're so um, agile in the air. The way that it's like they can turn on a dime, like yeah, fascinating. I There's love so bats. many of them around here as well. It's um, it must be, yeah. I don't know where they live. Mm. I think some of them are right in might be in like the you know like the um, the wooden bit that sits under the guttering on the houses. I think some of them might live in there. I think they do. They could live in our attic if they want. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Happy to share. Happy to share with the bats. I'd go up and see them. Good afternoon, Victoria. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Where well, indeed has the sun been? Indeed, yeah. in, in Doodle. It's nice when it's uh, when it's here, though, isn't it? Pretty perfect day, really, today, to be honest. Not sweltering hot, not high humidity. You know, if we get a bit more of this over the summer, I will be a very, very happy lad. Oh, actually, of course, going back to the bats thing, we have loads being out in the sticks. Yeah, I bet, I bet. <laughs> Vampire Jack, I'm related to some bats. <laughs> nice, nice. Hey. 
Yes, Kathleen, please do. They're the first food uh, for the bees usually when they, because they've obviously been in um, a, a kind of hibernation throughout the winter months. So when they start coming out now, building their colonies and their nests, dandelions are their first nutrient dense food. Um, so yeah, if you can leave them for at least a few weeks, mm -hmm. that'd be great. That's why I'm always a bit like, I know that vegans like making dandelion honey and everything, but I really try not to encourage stuff like that because then it's like, well, can we just leave them for just a little bit longer, please, for the bees? Yeah, definitely. Because without them, we, we ain't got no planet. Yeah, yeah. Got so got to look we need to look after them. Yeah, we do. I'm just going to shift these because they're bothering me. Yeah. The spices. Okay. Put them, put them back, yeah. You never know. Julie, you are here. That is the most important thing of all. And thank you for joining us. I love you. I'm going to put some salt in that now before I start adding chickpeas and stuff. And if I tried, <laughs> I still couldn't hide my love for you. Barbara, that's a really good way to uh, to go about things, isn't it? Definitely. I'm going to vent my instant pot. There you go. The chickpea is done. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One thing is a 250 grams. Most of that will go in this curry, like literally most of it. And if I try. Well, yeah, Ashley, um, I think uh, that's kind of a new thing that's just sort of come about over the last few years, isn't it? Like, you know, tutorials and uh, instructions on how to save bees, should you come across them uh, and they're struggling a bit, you know, good on you, good on you. Something we can all do, it's dead easy. Simon, thank you for being here. Went to Lidl today and picked up some of your recommendations. The bird's eye vegan stuff is gorgeous. Indeed, it is. It is. And we've had a lot of comments. Um, I can't say it's 100% success for people uh, because, as I said in the little vlog, it really is a postcode lottery. But yeah. um, a lot of people have, uh, have been pleasantly surprised going and checking out their local Lidl uh, during Meat Free Week and have picked up some cracking stuff. Uh, I mean, I think I mean, we bought wine and we bought the, uh, the new incinerator for the back garden, the new uh, burner. But uh, I think we spent 88 quid at Lidl, if I'm not mistaken. It was about 50 quid just on food. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all great stuff. Hmm. I shall highlight that, Ali Bali. Very true. Jack, I do that as well. Um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know. Linked with that, picking up um, worms from the path and putting them on the mud so they don't get stood on. Um, and they're just kind of back in the, you know, relatively natural environment. Sometimes they kind of, you know, they, they look like they've dried out a bit and you've got to kind of shift them out of the way, haven't you, and put them back into the natural environment. Um, it's weird. I don't know how anybody else, if anybody else is the same, but since going vegan i have less of a problem with you know insects and spiders and cr little creepy crawlies and critters and things like yeah, that i used to be freaked about spiders didn't i you? used to really not like creepy crawlies at all um but now whenever i see them my first instant reaction is is it okay does it need to be put outside is it fine where it is uh, and I don't really have a major problem kind of like gently picking stuff up and relocating it or, you know, if it needs to go outside or needs to go in a little bit of grass or something off the path. 
Good point made there, Jack. Nice one. Lorraine, thank you for being here. Told you. All gone, yeah. And if I tried. Jeanette managed to get uh, get the marble cake from Lidl. Excellent. Ah, the good cake. Hmm. Oh, R.S. Howell, so sorry to uh, read that. Again, it is it's a real shame, isn't it? I just, I don't get why they don't just go all out. It's like, if they're having a meat-free week, you'd expect that you should at least be able to get a similar amount of stuff, you know, at all branches, all locations. It's very weird. Don't understand it. Yeah, Ashley, I mean, Paul said um, with regards to the uh, the hard-boiled eggs, and it's just, it's just something that's worth checking out, isn't it, and trying. My chickpeas from the Instant Pot. I think, you know what, picking up on what Flanny said there and uh, R.S. Howell, um, I think, you know what, it's, it might just get to that point. You might have already done this, so I hope I don't sound patronising. It might just get to the point where it's just like you've just got to blatantly just ask and just maybe even just like, you know, a bit of a polite complaint to the manager to just say, hey, you're doing meat free week. Um, I'm seeing the other little stores in other parts of the country are jam packed full of stuff. What's the crack? Why, why haven't we got a, a, a respectable selection uh, in 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 our little, uh, Mister Manager, you know. Welcome, Simon. Yes, yes, I have heard and read about the new co-op live stadium in Manchester. It should be uh, it should be a great venue. It should be a great venue. If I'm not mistaken, I think Peter K is uh, scheduled to perform there at some point in the not too distant future. Right, let's just show you this while it's on simmer. Just bring the camera down a sec, yeah. Then, so I don't have to sure. see yeah, the time too much. There we go. Chickpea and spinach curry ready for consumption this evening. And I shall just leave that cooking now for ages on a nice low heat. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Bali. Blimey, Paul, you're feeding the streets. <laughs> well, I always do. I always do enough curry for two meals. So we'll have it. You, you probably know that you watch our meals vlogs. We'll have it tonight with rice and naan bread. And then we'll have it in a few days. So that'll be on the next meals vlog with chips and bread. Yeah. And Jason might take a portion to work for lunch as well. Sometimes we can get four dinners, one lunch out of a pan like that. So gorgeous. It smells beautiful. And, here. you know, Paul Blessing is like on several occasions um, over the last few months, you know, you might say, are you sure you want to take that for your lunch? You know, because so, sometimes I'll take whatever we've had for our evening meal. I'll if there's leftovers, I'll take it for lunch the next day the very next or day. the day after. But you know what? It's tasty food and home cooked tasty food is always going to win out over a, me a meal deal or, um, you know, um, a, a pasty from Greg's or something like that, you know. So I'm always more than happy to take home cooked to work with me. <laughs> Flanny, drooling now. <laughs> Earfront, thank you for being here. It's just pot luck, isn't it, Johnny? It's just absolute pot luck, really, yeah. wherever you go. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the comparisons we've drawn before between what's happened to our local Sainsbury's, the one that's the nearest to us over the last sort of 
12 to 18 months and versus the one down in Ashton. Like there's no comparison now between the two. Um, the Sainsbury's in Oldham for vegans is just poor. The only thing I can really give them a tick for and a thumbs up is they do have a respectable frozen vegan section at the Oldham branch. But yeah, they've never yeah, stocked. They they've never stocked any vegan croissants, neither their own nor the ones that we normally buy, the uh, St. Pierre ones. They've never had them in. We've oh. asked staff, we've asked the manager. They just don't seem to listen. And uh, yeah, because Sainsbury's even do their own vegan croissants and they've never been in either, have they? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. I'm not bothered whether they want to stock their own croissants or they want to stock the St. Pierre, but it would I be nice. They stock a vegan croissant it, for people. It would be nice to have an option, wouldn't it? Absolutely. You know, with all that stuff on the bread aisle, I'm sure they can make just a little bit of space. You know. <sighs> Oh, great. oh, Simon, hope you enjoy it. Taste. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Oh, wow. He's having a little private moment of a net sink. <laughs> City, we are having a good one. Yeah, the sun is shining. It's been a productive and busy weekend. Hey, Spider-Man reflexes. What? Ah, oh. nice, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I think the um, heat level is bang on. Mm -hmm. Myself, I don't think you need to add anything to that. No, no, no. no. Did you put a bit of salt in? Yes. That is. So that was one Scotch bonnet, two finger chilies. That is fit. Mm -hmm. Is the word I would use for that. Before I forget, don't know if mum and dad Brom are watching right now or catching up later because the sun is shining. They might have gone out for a walk with a flask of coffee. But if you sat watching, much love, mum and dad Brom. Hope you're good. Yes. <laughs> One day, Michelle, we'll get to the point um, with technology where we can just like send recipes to people. And it can just be replicated just there and then on the spot with the touch of a button, like Star Trek. One day, you never know. Oh no, what is he? Oh. What? Sid Cramp, have a <laughs> hankering for old maid curry now, but we're gonna have to wait a week until the new kitchen's fitted. Oh. Gutted. It'll be you? it'll be worth it though when you've got your new kitchen fitted, I'm sure. And it's all shiny and spangly. Hey, you're all welcome, man. Won't say share. Come on. Come round. Yeah. Mm. Well, we can all have a small, I'll do a load of rice. We'll just have a load of rice and one blob of curry on top, yeah. I'll do about 40. I'm not sharing my nan bread, though, you can all. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, that goes for me as well. <laughs> I don't share bread. <laughs> Michelle and Ali asking about the gardening. Uh, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Go be, watch the beginning of the blog. We've already, we've already discussed it all. And uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's been discussed. Yeah, it's been covered enough. <laughs> so if you don't mind, just go back and, 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 and watch the beginning. Thanks. Sid Cramp's on the way, just over the Pennines. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's beautiful, though, this. Um... Nice. I'm going to get rid of this because this is annoying me. Yeah, see, see what happens. Okay. Into the recycling. <sighs> oh, nice, nice. Well, this has turned out a little bit better than I thought um, because, it, like, as you said right at the start, you know, it was a little bit of a, a bit of a kind of last minute thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Kind of pulling things together today. Hey, did you know you can make your own? Um, vegan nan bread dead easy with yogurt vegan yogurt and flour that's it you mix them together until you make a dough roll it out dry pan fry it and it make your own nan bread we've done it a couple of times but it's so easy to pick up a pack from tesco for a quid it is isn't it and they are lovely they are the gorgeous proper and nice. one packet lasts us two meals because i only take out one nan bread cut it in half well i cut it in four and we both have half each two pieces each and then i freeze the other one 
for, for next time. Yeah, and it's no, enough, I, isn't it? It's yeah, enough in terms of because we always have generous amount of curry and a generous amount of rice, don't we? So you don't have to go uh, too silly with the naan bread. Uh, Simon the watch guy, yes. We buy this one, Simon, from um, Tesco, but it's not just Tesco you can get it from. It's the, um, they called Claymore. Clay oven. Clay oven bakery. Clay oven bakery nan breads. Um, as you can see, clearly marked vegan approved. Nut free, low sugar, suitable for freezing. So we just have one of them cut into four and done in the toaster. And then uh, I freeze the other one in the bag and we have it um, next time we have a curry. Yeah. Good stuff. I can't remember the make um, of the ones they sell at Asda, but the Asda ones are very nice as well, aren't they? R I J A H. R I J A H. Yeah. Oh. We've put, we've spot, we've pointed them out on our Asda uh, shopping vlogs many, many times. They are incredible nan breads, uh, but these are great as well. To be fair, um, and what is a curry without a nan bread? You know what? I'm just going to add a little bit of milk to this for uh, a bit more liquid. Sparkling guidance. It's the best thing, isn't it? It's what we all want. It's just I'm some cocoa milk to me curry. For stuff to be clearly marked, it's all we want, isn't it? It's like even the toothpaste at uh, Tesco's. You know, we uh, we got some more toothpaste the other day, clearly marked vegan. One of the few out there anywhere that is clearly marked vegan. Oh yes, Julie. Yeah, the Sharwood's little two packs are nice as well um yeah perhaps a little bit too small a little bit just depends what you're having i suppose isn't it do you know what i mean oh, if i was taking a bit of curry God, she smells good leftover curry for work lunch then uh one of the little sharwoods nans would be perfect for that so i've definitely got the place without a doubt I think we're all caught up on the chat. I don't think we've missed anything. Oh, marvellous. Good stuff. So, yeah, if you've got if you've got a jug blender or a Nutribullet or even at a push, a stick blender and a tall jug that you can thingy things in, highly recommend making your own curry paste. Honestly, it was Leanne, one of our subscribers, who said, oh, I always make my own meatball. And I was like, I am. And she was like, the standard bits, garlic, ginger, chili tomatoes you know make a paste and as soon as she says she said it i was like of course it's that easy but then of course you curry powder as well and all your spices and your bits and you know and like you didn't you say earlier as well as like i suppose once you get to the point where you've kind of got it down and you know what you're doing with it and then you kind of you can start to adapt it slightly in terms of your personal preferences, can't you? Yeah. It's like, you know, if you want to, okay, well, I want to put more uh, ginger and garlic in it because, I, you know, we're garlic freaks, aren't we? So, love, yeah. love, and love ginger, garlic. Yeah. actually. I mean, we have a lot of ginger. Sid Cramp says, how do you cook your brown rice? I simply boil it, boil it Sid Cramp, for around 25 minutes. It takes between 25 and 28 minutes to cook brown rice, so a lot longer than white rice. However... And it is important to say it brown rice is far less impactful on the environment it's grown in mm -hmm. it's an argument you'll get from meat eaters a lot do you know the damage that rice does to the planet and i'm like if you want to go and have that discussion with the continents of china and and japan and india whose staple food is rice you do that I'm doing my bit by eating brown rice. Yes, yes. Do you sometimes do a stock cube? Sometimes, cube yeah, 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 yeah. It depends. Um, but yeah, now and again, I do that with, I've started doing that with pasta as well. Um, say that I never rinse my rice first, which is probably filthy, but I don't care. <laughs> no, I never do. I just boil it and then and then drain it and serve it. Never been an and issue. Now and again, I'll stick a vegetable stock cube in with the 
boiling water when I pour it in, um, just to add a bit more flavour. Yeah, it's good. I love our rice. Adore it. I was joking the other night with Paul, and we were, well, we were kind of joking together, and we sort of the whole thing around like rice and tofu, and how we've got into it so much uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, and it's like if we if we've gone like a week without having tofu, it feels like a month. It's not a month, but it feels like a month. We've proper become tofu fanatics, though, haven't we? I, almost, yeah. I mean, we we proper love our tofu, don't we? I'll just show you something. It's wrong. Wrong! It's not. It's right in so many ways. In fact, just turn the camera this way, Jason, for a second. Because it'll be much easier. There we go. Tofu. Tofu, tofu, tofu. Tofu, tofu. That's two more packets. And behind that, there are two of the um, silken tofu boxes that I use for scrambled egg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. To be fair, that is more tofu than we would normally have eight in, in the fridge. Eight tofus. Eight tofu. Eight tall tofu. <laughs> <laughs> Shit out your head. It's a lot of tofu. Uh, but we'll get through it. Um, most of it, if not all of it, has got pretty good dates on, haven't they? So, you know, it won't be a, won't be a problem. Oh, Lizzie, you're terribly late. We're going to be wrapping up soon. We've done everything that we needed to do. We've said all we wanted to say. We've answered a few questions. Chatted with all you lovely folk. Hey, oh, you know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna highlight that because um, we don't very often talk about other activists on the channel. Um, but yeah, sparkling guidance. Shout out to Joey Carbstrong. I was talking about him just the other day to a lovely guy uh, at Northern Vegan Festival from Manchester Pig Save. Uh, and just talking about that type of activism and uh, it takes, you know, a certain type of individual to be able to do that type of activism. Do you know what I mean? Um, but all credit to him. I couldn't do it myself. Uh, Becca, um, does does the same go for brown pasta as in what is on the, the environmental impact or the fact you have to cook it longer? Yeah, you have to cook it longer. Only... Couple of minutes though. Brown pasta is usually around twelve minutes. Usually around the twelve minute mark to cook wholemeal pasta. We always have wholemeal just because it's better for you and it remains slightly al dente, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and we enjoy that. We like a bite to our pasta. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, environmental impact side of things with um, wholemeal pasta. I don't, I don't know if it's the same as with rice. Well, it's untreated flour, isn't it? Wholemeal means that it's it's not been bleached. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not, so I should imagine that is better. It's got to be better. Hasn't yeah, because it? it's just like ground up and used. You're removing a whole process that doesn't need to happen. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Which surely has a positive domino effect into various areas. And it's definitely better for your health wise uh, because whole meal just is in you know in general because you're getting the whole of the grain They're not nothing's being taken away from it mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah so yes i think we should um well we'll just give everyone a couple of minutes to say your goodbyes to each other we're not going to be eating until about kind of seven o'clock our dinner so that will remain on cook and i'll keep adding a bit more liquid if it needs it mm -hmm. but i'll keep it on a low simmer now for the next couple of hours just to make sure that the spinach is cooked right down and the chickpeas absorb that flavor yeah 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 and it will be a a, a beautiful dinner this evening and now you know what you'll see in our meals vlog on Tuesday for Sunday <laughs> night. Curry that we made right here on a live. I suppose. I wasn't know. intending to do the full curry. I was intending to just do the pears, but then I thought I might as well get it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, these things sometimes just evolve <clears throat> as we're sat here 
as many of you will know if you know the channel well and you know us well but uh yeah it's been lovely as always yeah uh barbara says almost got to 100 likes uh there is 109 in the house if you haven't already given the live stream a thumbs up it'd be lovely to Alex, hit 100 seven you say see you then bye people. <laughs> see you at seven Alex. Bring, bring wine and your own nan bread you're not sharing mine <laughs> nice one ashley yes it, it often is these days though isn't it and it is lovely it is lovely uh i always like it for us to hit 100 likes on our live streams it doesn't always happen uh, and it is a slightly shorter live today than normal and um, please don't forget that if you haven't seen the little vlog from friday we made and uploaded it on friday and if you haven't seen the vegan fest vlog from yesterday which we made and uploaded yesterday please do check them out yeah uh we would uh we would greatly appreciate that of it's, course it's not often that we watch our own stuff and it's not often that we blow our own trumpets but i will admit to yesterday we watched our northern vegan fest vlog on the telly and i actually said to paul i was like if i if i step back and be impartial and just imagine that i was watching that vlog as somebody who just kind of stumbled across it on uh, youtube i right enjoyed it i right enjoyed watching it <laughs> i know that sounds daft but when you consider when you consider that we lived it then I came home and edited it and then later on that evening we watched it on the telly because it's like less than 20 minutes um, for me to still be able to sit and enjoy the vlog uh, to some of you it might sound daft but Very good yes and made it 103 likes hey nice one thank you everyone thank you that's great I'm sure it you know it, it helps with the YouTube robots you it know does. It, does. it helps a little bit and one day maybe in the not too distant future when me and Paul are walking around with Zimmer frames that plaque will come through the post box from YouTube and we'll be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be about like 20 years time. <laughs> it's arrived, Jason, at last. Hey, nice. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Done with. Done with. Right. I'm going to, uh, I'm now going to open my back door slightly so I can smell of this curry pearl because everyone knows we're vegans. Just like, smell the vegan curry. Isn't it nice? nothing horrible in it yeah thank you all of you for popping in seeing us today uh asking your questions your lovely comments and the chat just in general it's always a pleasure um yeah and uh please do check out the vlogs paul mentioned before and look out for the uh the standard regular meals vlog on tuesday evening and if you missed the beginning of this it's only an hour long so go back to the beginning and and, and you can see how we made the curry paste and uh and the lovely chat that ensued yes love you mister love you Mwah. love you guys thank you so so much for watching sorry it's a bit more of a shorter one today uh but it has been a very busy weekend and we need some downtime have some downtime so we'll see you again very soon and until then please be excellent to yourself and each other <laughs> massive thank you to our moderators and for everybody and a special wave mum and dad from who are probably watching at home see you soon loves bye